Well, just last week, the Food and Drug Administration granted appro approval to the drug company Merck for a new cancer treatment that uses immune therapy to treat melanoma. And it could be just the beginning of so-called immune therapy treatments. And joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System to discuss the new treatment is Dr. David Mariner. Dr. Mariner, thanks for joining us this morning. You bet. Good morning, Dustin. Nice to be here. Yeah, well, I want to start with uh, this idea of immunotherapy. What exactly is it? You know, the concept has been around for, for many years, um, and we've been, we've been using immunotherapy for, for decades, really. Um, uh, the, the simplest way to think about it is it's a way to harness the immune system to help, help it attack cancer cells. So these, uh, these drugs uh, that uh, I guess have recently won approval from the FDA are just uh, ways to kind of spark that in patients? To some degree. Again, um, the first wave of drugs have been around for decades. Okay. Um, they kind of rev up your immune system. But the, but the, new, the new wave or the next generation uh, of medications called um, immune checkpoint inhibitors or, mm. or PD-1 inhibitors are more, t more targeted. They, they actually um, let your um, body um, work, so to speak, against the, the cancer cell. The cancer cell tells your immune system to be turned off. And our body, this, the medications uh, or the, the new wave of drugs say <coughs> they keep your immune system turned on to attack the cancer. So it sounds like it's, that it was a it's a more targeted attack, in other words, is what you're saying. To some degree, it's, it's, okay. it's a more refined approach, correct. Uh, now, uh, this treatment, how is, uh, you say it's been, it's been something that's been used for years. How has it been shown to be beneficial? Sure. The um, two areas that, that generally we, we use immunotherapy are for melanoma, so a skin cancer, or kidney cancer. Um, in those patients, uh, even with, with advanced disease, there's a small percentage of patients that, if you respond, can go into a long remission, which is pretty remarkable. Um, the, the new class of medications are also being primarily discovered or uh, um, uh, researched in, in melanoma. But what's fascinating is uh, cancers that were thought to not respond to immunotherapy, such as even like lung cancer, mm. uh, it appears that these drugs are active. Um, and so it, it could be a, ga a game changer in how we treat uh, these cancer uh, subtypes. So it might be something we'll see a lot more of in the years to come. Dr. Mariner, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You bet. Have a great day. You too.